Mmm, Star Wars is hot garbage. Mmm, situation grave. That's right, friends. I am the man you may know as Z, and we're going to talk a little bit about the absolute disaster that Star Wars is in. I cannot believe how far and how bad Disney has run this company. You would think after investing, you know, a billion dollars, they could actually get this right. But no, actually, what do they pay? A billion? Four billion? Who knows? But what they've done with it is run it into the absolute ground. Things are looking more bleak than they ever have. Um, while I am a fan of Andor, I don't think enough of the regular public likes it. You have The Mandalorian. Season 3 just came out. Not hearing that much good stuff about it. Not hearing people say how great and wonderful and how much they like it. But what we do have is some news. And this news just makes it look like uh, they have to fire Kathleen Kennedy. It's just, especially after Indiana Jones comes out. Like this is just, she's just run Lucasfilm into the ground. That This is absurd what they're doing at this point. So if you're not familiar with the carousel of different directors and different movies that have been out there, um, there's a lot, and I'm not going to recap everybody who is supposed to have a movie. You know, like Ryan Johnson, supposed to have his own trilogy. Um, Lord and Miller, fired from uh, Solo. Who else off the top of my head? Uh, Trevor, uh, Trevorrow, Colin Trevorrow, also fired. And uh, the list kind of goes on and on. But now uh, we're a hundred percent certain. Well, at least this—if it's being reported in Variety, then we're pretty sure it's certain because this is a—you know—they get it's access media. They get access for printing what they want. So, what do they want to tell everybody? They want to tell everybody that uh, Kevin Feige and Patty Jenkins movies have been shelved. Shelved. You're not going to get them. We already reported that Rogue Squadron was dead. But we had heard that they were going to bring in the fixer, Kevin Feige himself, to see if they could fix it. But Kevin Feige's got some big, big, big problems on his hands. Phase 5 is not off to the good start it needs to be. Quantum Mania is not performing as well as it should have. So let's take a look and see what they're saying here. Uh, and they're talking about some of the problems that they've had where... You know, they announced that Wonder Woman wasn't going to be going through with Patty Jenkins anymore. She's been kicked off. And, you know, it was because maybe she had to do her one-off adventure Rogue Squadron. They even took pictures of her holding a helmet. Like, they did promo for this. And, yeah. And she even said, she's like, I don't even know if I'm developing it. Well, now it seems like it's official. Kim Feige is also officially not going to have any more uh, to do with this. So he's not going to have his own thing. Apparently, he had hired uh, the same guy who wrote uh, the Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, oh no, he hired somebody different. But he hired uh, Waldron to, to do that. But he's been hiring like a bunch of different people. So apparently, he hired him to start working on a Star Wars saga. Some sort of Star Wars uh, movie, which is crazy. Uh, and the guy was like, oh, I'm having fun writing something that's not necessarily c connected. See, he says it right here. Uh, it actually, it was uh, Michael Waldron who who wrote The Multiverse of Madness, which was okay, but not great. Uh, I'm enjoying having the freedom on that to do something that's not necessarily a sequel or anything. So, I guess that's gone. It's not paying him to do that anymore. It's, it's just it's just strange. You know, Ryan Johnson still wants his trilogy. Never going to happen. It's not going to happen. And they're still saying, for whatever reason, that Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie is still possibly out there to be done. No thank you. No one wants to see a Taika Waititi comedy Star Wars like movie? What? <laughs> you haven't seen a movie. The, the last movie that was released was Rise of Skywalker, which didn't do that as well as it should have. So, and, you know... You hear about Disney making, you know, billion dollar cuts, five billion dollar cuts at least in in their in their uh, in what they're going to show to people. So I don't see anything going through at this point. This just looks like a mess. So 
for now, Lucasfilm's message to Star Wars movie fans, patience you must have. How many more years until they make another another Star Wars? Like, what? What is going on here? They do seem to have, like, there's still one more out there. I know they even said um, that David Lindelof would have a shot. You might know him uh, for, for writing a script for his own Star Wars. He came out and leaked that and said that was going to happen. The guy from Watchmen they were gonna they're gonna write a script for a movie yeah apparently i i don't believe it just like they have a star wars movie uh committed from charmine uh obadai shino who's a two-time oscar winner documentarian okay she's a documentarian but only wrote two she what she directed two episodes of miss marvel like she has no experience how are you gonna give her a 200 and million dollar star wars movie so then you could ruin her career why would you do that let her work on other stuff first it just doesn't make any sense it's such a mess at lucasfilm and and the star wars property itself it's just stunning how bad this is i i just it's it's hopeless there's literally no hope for the future you know i just don't see it tell me what do you think let me know in the comments. Do you think Star Wars is just... I mean, I've been saying it's DOA, but now it's like, oh, man, all bets are off. Like, nothing good is coming out of this. It doesn't look good for Star Wars. It's a shame. We'll just have to watch the scraps that were given, and some of it's not, you know, it's not even good. Like I said in my previous video, The Mandalorian is for babies now. It's a little baby show. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you like it, you like it, but... It's clearly aimed for children now. It's not aimed for adults. You know, they're like Andor's the adult show and Mandalorian's for the kids. So I don't know what's going on. Thank you so much for checking us out. We do have a live stream, full-length audio podcast. We stream it here on uh, YouTube, and we also have it on Rumble. You can catch it there as well. It's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The full-length audio podcast can also be downloaded for free on iTunes and Spotify, all those great places and more. As for myself, just going to sulk with my lack of Star Wars, but I am on to the next one.